Hey everyone, welcome to the Movie Throne. I'm your host, the one and only King Candace here bringing you a movie review your way. Yes, I finally, finally had the chance to watch Bullet Train starring Brett Pitt. And I'm telling you, there's a whole bunch of cool actors in it. I'll just name a few because you know what? They deserve an honorable mention because it's a pretty damn good film. I enjoyed myself. It's like a two hour movie. Could have been an hour and 30 minutes if anything they could have cut out a few things here and there but other than that there's nothing really bad to complain about the film but anyways let's go back to the actors and actresses so brad pitt he plays ladybug he's kind of like the main assassin guy of the whole film that it starts off with and it continues you have joey king who, who plays prince or princess i don't know what the hell i think she's called prince why i have no clue you know it's we'll get into that uh, we have Aaron Taylor Johnson, he plays Tangerine. And Brian Tyrese Henry, he plays Lemon. Two brothers from two different mothers, let's just say that, which is pretty cool. Another bunch of assassins there. Uh, who else do we have? We have Michael Shannon, who plays the bad guy. We find out later on, the last 10 minutes of the film, he is what they call the White Death. He's responsible for orchestrating all this craziness. That we received on the bullet train. You got Sandra Bullock. Which I knew I recognized her right away. Because I heard that she was in this movie. She is the handler. She's the one who's talking to Brad Pitt on the phone. And then she shows up five minutes at the end of the movie. Not even two minutes. For a two minute cameo. Speaking about ca cameos. You had Bad Bunny as the one guy that Brad Pitt was kind of like hired. To go after during his uh wedding and the family gets killed by someone else zazzy beats i'll mention her she kind of shows up for a little bit everybody pops up you got Channing tatum on there he's like some weirdo on the train who kind of like you know see there two scenes i think at the most bad bunny plays the wolf that's who he is who's kind of connected but not connected to all this but he ends up showing up to try and kill brad pitt at the bullet train the way the events unfold is pretty cool, but at the same time, it explains how every character and actor, why they're there and how they're interconnected, which is pretty cool. Uh, Zazzy Beats, uh, Musi Oka, he plays the train guy who asked for the tickets. He plays on Heroes. That's the best guy, the Asian guy with the glasses. Cool part. Pretty annoying, he did. Logan Lerman played the white noises kid who ends up, you know, biting the bullet. So, too bad. No puns intended. And you got, I think it's Carrie Fukuhara. She plays in, of course, a little show called The Boys. So I'm going to leave it at that. Suki, I think her name is, or Yuri. I can't even remember. Yuki. It's been a while, okay? But yeah, from the very beginning right to the end, holy crap. A lot of action, a uh, lot of blood, a lot of gory stuff, a lot of dialogue. So be prepared that... Mixed in with some of the coolest actions you've probably seen ever in special effects, there is a lot of dialogue. It but it doesn't feel boring as all. There's a couple of scenes that they could have edited out, but it didn't bother me once once bit at all, guys. But from the history of Brad Pitt's character to how he's connected to Sandra Bullock to uh, some of the other actors who end up having a beef with the white noise and how the white noise or white death, sorry, end up killing the people. So that's why they're there. And from this little boy who gets pushed off at the beginning and how that's all connected to a whole message. But either way, it gets tied up well. Then you got the two, uh, Lemon and Tangerine, who are hired to get back this kid. Which you find out there's this girl on the train who's also orchestrating some shit that's connected to the white death son. Sorry, daughter. And also the brother of the guy who died. And you can see little bits here and there. Because there's a lot of flashback forward and backwards guys. 47 hours before. 27 hours before to get to where we're getting. And there's even a damn snake on the train. Which is kind of funny. That's poisonous. And you got little clips here and there that they kind of added just for laughs. But... Kind of, you know, added to the story's uniqueness. Let's just say that. But overall thoughts, liked it. I'm leaving out a whole bunch more because there's a lot, shitload more on this uh, movie. I'll tell you right now. 
but it fits all well perfectly. And uh, the hype that people are, oh, you know, this movie is the movie of the year and stuff. Probably not. It's one of the most entertaining movies of the year. You know, uh, I think you guys will enjoy it. If you like Brad Pitt and these kind of Jap Japanese style action films mixed into one, you're going to enjoy it. And the actors are great. They all brought it. Every single one that they introduced, you know, and there's a reason for everything that goes down in this film. But uh, I liked it. I really did. You know, Dr. Movie says, King, pick this up. So I did. So there'll be the movie digital code available probably any second. It'll be popping up on the screen. So whoever gets it, congrats. You're welcome. And, uh, you know, like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys liked my review on Bullet Train uh, starring Brad Pitt. You know, what else can I say, guys? It's awesome. Check it out for yourselves. I recommend you check it out. You're not going to die if you don't see it, but I think you might be left out of some fun. Let's just say that. Just plain, awesome, fun. So until next time, stay off the King's Row, and I'll see you where? Right here on the Movie Throne. Take it easy. Be the hell good.